very warm welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Vatros Woman Show. As always, my name is Sheila Juma and we're so delighted to be hosting you this wonderful Sunday evening. We hope you've had a great week and a great Sunday wherever you're watching us from. Before we do start, I'd like to encourage you to share this broadcast with someone. If you're tuning in online, go ahead and share the link with someone. Don't get blessed alone. And if it's your first time watching us, you're very welcome. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, there's quite a number of content for you there so that you can catch up with all the other episodes that we have been doing. Go ahead, subscribe. If you need to follow us on our social media platforms, we are The Virtuous Woman Show on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube, even on TikTok. So go ahead and follow us there. If you have any questions that you may have for us or you have a topic that you'd like for us to touch on or uh, discuss, Go ahead and let us know through those um, uh, platforms and we'll be glad to hear from you and interact with you today we have an amazing show lined up just for you we have a woman of god on set her name is reverend virginia she has an amazing story so sit back relax and get ready to be blessed so karibu sana Asante. thank you for coming you're welcome we're looking forward to get ministered to today yes so before we start let's just hear from you who you are introduce yourself let us know who you are and what you do that's your camera right there thank you Shayna. how are you my name is Reverend virginia i'm born again i love jesus christ as my personal savior i was born uh, somewhere in moranga mm -hmm. that is moranga county mm -hmm. kandara division uh, raised there by my both of my parents mm -hmm. We are just there humble. Mm -hmm. uh, I schooled in a uh, school called Mahutia Primary. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Gataga Girls High School okay. in Thika. Okay. From there I went to Queensway College mm -hmm. in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I did my secretary course there. Mm -hmm. And then later on when I was in college, when I was working and uh, after I had received my call, I joined Park University. All right. Before we get yes. there, uh, you said you were born and raised in? Kandara Moranga. Moranga. Yes. Your parents, were they born again? No, they were not. They were uh -huh. found Catholics. Catholics. Yes. <laughs> so you went into the Catholic faith when yeah. you, you, you started to realize yourself. Yeah. So you used to go there every Sunday? Yes. Okay. Very active. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then, so how did that change for you? Did, did they remain Catholic? Did, how did you now get saved? Okay. My parents, mm -hmm. they remained in Catholic. Mm -hmm. They are still there. Uh -huh. Even me, even after high school, in fact, I was very active in high school. I was the Catholic Action Secretary. Wow. Okay. And even when the, the Padre, the father, uh -huh. was not in, I uh -huh. used to take over. I used to lead the, <laughs> the service. I've they never it heard mass. Of, yeah. of, a, of a woman. Were you a priest? Or not you were just being the role no, of a priest? No, I, I was the assistant head girl. Okay. Yeah? So I, I used to take over. When okay. the Padre is not there, okay. I used to lead the service. Ah. Yeah. Wow, that's really interesting. Mm. So... At what age was this? Uh, 18 years. Wow. 17, from 16, 17, 18. Then. Okay. Mm. And then at what point did you get saved? Uh, after, after I'm through with the high school, mm -hmm. even after I'm married, mm -hmm. that is when I got uh, I got born again. All right. Yes. What were the circumstances? Were you in a crusade somewhere, in a service somewhere? Hello. Uh -huh. Okay. I was working uh, with Kenya Duty Free Shops uh -huh. at the airport, uh -huh. and then I was just sacked. Okay. I was fired. Okay. Uh, that thing made me feel like the world had collapsed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there the life was a big good. So I'm here in the house. I'm kind of a housewife. And now I didn't know what to do. I started seeking God. My brother had just gotten saved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we started praying with him. Then at one point, there are so many people who tried uh, uh, to confuse my bosses that uh, uh, to, to, to get me back, back to the job, yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, that it was forthcoming. So after so many days of prayer, there is another gentleman who used to uh, to, to, to work with my, my late husband, yeah? yeah. So he came one day in the house. He encouraged me to pray. He encouraged me to fast. Mm -hmm. Remember my Catholic, Catholic yeah? yeah? Yes. So this was like, uh, how can I fast? How can I do this, yeah? Mm. So. After some uh, months, yeah, I joined my brother. He took me somewhere to some other red ladies who are mm -hmm. very prayerful. Mm -hmm. So after prayer, that is when they told me, God is looking for you. Wow. God wants you. Mm -hmm. And that is why you are even fired without mm -hmm. doing anything. I was like, how is this God? Uh, how can he pass 
such a way. Mm -hmm. But uh, because they had so many, the so-called godfathers at mm -hmm. the airport, mm -hmm. and uh, they could not get me back to job, I thought, yeah, I think there is something there. Mm -hmm. So there is this one day when we were praying in the house, yeah, mm -hmm. that I felt the power of God coming over me. Okay. I couldn't realize what it was. Yeah. Then my brother asked me, do you want to get saved? Get saved. Yeah. I said, oh, yes. Uh -huh. Even before I, I started praying, I just started crying. Wow. I cried, I cried. Uh -huh. Then he told me, yeah. Then they started speaking there. They said, I think the, the power of God is upon her. And, so, and they led you yeah. in, this, in and the then prayer. They led me to the prayer. Yeah. Okay, amazing. Mm. Mm. At this time, you've met your husband. Uh, we even have, you're, you're even married. blessed with two children. children. Okay, yes. how did you meet him? Uh, when I was working in town, uh -huh. he was uh, working at Upper Hill. He was a process suffer. Mm -hmm. In those errands there. He was also Catholic? Yes. Okay. Mm. So but now, he never used to go to church. Okay. Yeah, those people, uh, so who got saved first, you or him? By the way, him. Him? <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And then now you came and yeah. got saved. Yes, because he told me, ah, oh, you're not born again. Come, I'll show you where you'll be fellowship. Mm -hmm. So he took me to CFF in town. Oh, wow. He used to go there morning devotions, mm -hmm. but he never used to go on Sundays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he was that kind of a person, yeah. yeah. But when he introduced me to the now to the church, now uh, I started going yeah. and became All right. um, strong in faith. Yeah, that's wonderful. So mm -hmm. now you mentioned earlier that you you are called by God. Yeah. How did that happen? How did you know I have a calling over my life? Uh, when I flash back, yeah, the the love that I had for God yeah. in high school, mm -hmm. even after high school, because I remember when I used to go to church in Catholic, yeah. I could feel everything that I need to pray. Mm -hmm. I could feel that uh, I need to tithe. I sorry to say there are those where the tithe there, it's not like a master, master, okay. master. Yeah? But to me, I felt that it is a master. I start tithing, mm -hmm. I start doing these things. But when now I became born again, that is when my calling, mm -hmm. I realized that I had a, uh, a call. I had a call. Yeah. Cause immediately I got born again, I got baptized of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I received the giftings of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Like in two months' time, I could speak in tongues. I could interpret tongues. Mm -hmm. I could prophesy. I could, the gifts came yeah. all of them. Yeah. And I felt, yeah, I'm not in the yeah. wrong place. Yeah. This is where I belong. All right. Mm. So you, when did the ministry start? Because I know you're a reverend, a yeah. pastor. Tell us yeah. how the ministry started for you. Uh, uh, I started the ministry in a year. 2011 okay. or 2010, at the end of 2010, yeah. It was through a word of knowledge. There's a lady we used to fellowship together. And that time we had started serving the church, the, the local church mm -hmm. where I was, yeah. And then there this, this lady who had, uh, who was used of God, the word of knowledge, God wanted to plant a church. I said, what? <laughs> No, 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 I cannot be there. Cannot be me. <laughs> cannot be me. Also. Yeah, you. At that time, uh -huh. uh, the, the, the pastor who was there, uh, the reverend who was there, uh, he could not hear nothing. Mm -hmm. If the Lord has spoken, he has spoken. I was told, yeah. And next week, you are supposed to go to industry area, mm -hmm. Luga Luga, and plant a church. Wow. He even knew the area. Yeah. Through the leading of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Uh, so I had to, you had to obey. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So now you went and found a, a venue? Yes. yes. Now I had to go. The leading of the Holy Spirit now yes. took over. So I went, I lighted some. I said, Uga Luga. I don't know who Uga Luga is. So I let it there. So that's the Holy Spirit now take over. Uh, the first day I did not get a hall. The second day, the third day, that is when I found uh, I'm a body hall okay. there. Yeah. yeah, and the ministry started. The ministry there. Now there's a time your, your, your place was demolished. Yes. Please tell us about Ooh. that. <laughs> wow. Well, it's just the other day. Yeah. 2020. 2022. Okay. 2022. Oh, just last year. Yeah. All last right. Year. What were the circumstances around that? Mm. Oh. You've had, I see that you started in a small, yeah, Mabati, yeah, house, yeah, Mabati, yeah, Mabati Hall, yeah. So I made a promise to God. There is a time that I wanted to purchase a car, mm -hmm. but then I said, Where will I be parking this car? Mm -hmm. This, this, you know, the slums, yeah, yeah, uh, the, the, the Lunga Lunga is a slum, okay, area, yeah. So I said, No, no, I, I can't park my car here. So I told God, I want to build you a permanent house, mm -hmm. and when I do it, you give me a car, yeah. So 
after sharing uh, with uh, with some members, we were not Mimi, and again it's in the slums. So it's after so many harambees, uh, so many fad racings there, we were able to purchase a couple of there, then we were able to build a church. So 2019, right. uh, our bishop came, he dedicated. To the permanent the church, structure. Yeah, a permanent structure, okay. and a big one, yeah. So uh, after, now we were doing the finishing last year, that is when the city council came. Okay. What were they saying? They think that that's a road it is up. Oh no. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, they not given us any notice. Uh, we were not even aware. Yeah. In fact, we were doing the finishing outside. We were doing the plastering so that we could put the, the tiles, mm -hmm. the face of the mm -hmm. church. That is when they came. Mm -hmm. And they came and they said, from here to there, we want to demolish everything. Mm -hmm. And our church went like that. Just like that. Mm. It was so Without, did, did you ever try to fight it, like in court it, or you, anything? You couldn't even. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, the slums areas, they belong, it is government mm -hmm. land. Mm -hmm. It's only that I felt that, my God, I want him, uh, right. yeah, I want a good house. So we knew that is a government land. Mm -hmm. So how can you fight? Yeah. Yeah. So now what do you do at land. this point? Oof, now the, 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 the members, they are there, they are just looking at you, they are wondering, where do we go? Where do we go? <laughs> you are just encouraging yourself like David in the Lord. Yeah. So uh, the biggest issue was now how to demolish this thing, yeah? We had finished all the money, and now it's time to demolish. And again, where do you take these things now? Yeah. The Mambatis were so many, the five meter ones, the, 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 the brass, mm -hmm. what do you call it, those tumors, mm -hmm. oh, the, the blocks. But God was with us. Mm -hmm. I was able to get some cash from people mm -hmm. who were passing by, they could come, give me. And again, we were given only to this notice. Oh no. In fact, they wanted to demolish that, that same yeah. day. But we picked it with them. So now the next Sunday, did you meet? We met in my house. Wow. And it is a distance. Yes. Yeah, from I can imagine. The church was. Yeah. We met in my house. Mm -hmm. And then I took them next Sunday. Saturday, just give me a call. I'll mm -hmm. tell you where we are. Wow. Yeah. And now, where is the church? It's in another place in Kayole, mm -hmm. in Nairobi. Okay. That is where we've rented a, a home. All right. That is where we are today. Amen. Mm. And we believe God will guide you even yes, to build something else. We are going to yes. do, We are going to build a cathedral. Amen. A cathedral. Amen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, your husband, yes. uh, you started the ministry with him. Uh, okay, he was there. Okay. But he was... Uh, I'm the one who planted the You're church. You're the one who planted the yes. church. Yes. But of course, he was, he was there to working. support you. Yeah. Yes. He was, yeah, he used to support yeah. me. Mm. Tell us about uh, your journey with uh, your husband and, until the time he came to pass away. Okay. I got, uh, we spoke about my marriage. Yeah. yeah. When I got married, yeah. I was there. We were, we were blessed with the children. Uh, he was very supportive. Mm -hmm. In fact, though he was not active, very active in the church, he was very supportive mm -hmm. with whatever that I needed. Mm -hmm. But uh, in 2011, he got ill, mm -hmm. uh, a disease we could not even understand, mm -hmm. but uh, after some tests, he was told that he was diabetic. Okay. But when he went to the hospital, the, the blood sugars could not go down. All right. And then he died. Which year was this? 2011. It, was it a short illness? Very short. Very short. One week. One week. One week. So it's not something you had even mentally prepared for no. or thought about no. or saw coming. Mm. I can't imagine what that feels like. It was terrible. Yeah. Especially to the children. Especially to the kids. Because they just saw their dad very healthy mm -hmm. one evening. The following day he said that he was feeling unwell. Mm -hmm. Uh, I took him to the hospital. He never came back. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, as a woman of God, mm. with a whole ministry, mm. who says God will heal? I'm telling you. Who says, oh, God is this and mm. God is that? And indeed he is. Mm. How did you handle your congregation? Mm. Because now they're looking at you as, okay, now if it has happened to you, mm. now what about us? I think it was bad. People spoke. Yeah. I yeah. Well, let me tell you, Sheila. Yes. When he was at the hospital, I could feel that this man is leaving us. Mm -hmm. Every day, I could feel that this man is going. Mm -hmm. Do you know that it's not even the doctors who told me that he has passed away? 
I was standing at the corridor with my brother-in-laws. Then I heard a voice. I felt the power of God come over me. I heard a voice. Wow. So I was like, yeah, who, what? In the hospital? I, yes, at the corridors of Kenyatta mm. National Hospital. I just fell down. Then I heard the, the second uh, voice. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow. I was like, what? You've taken his soul. And now you want me to say, say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I said to speak a word, I could go in tanks. Yeah. For two hours. And the Kenyatta corridors, mm. I was just speaking tanks. So from there, who is to tell the children? How? How did it happen? Yeah. They were still young. Mm. The first born was in class five. Oh yeah. The last born was no the last born was not even three years. Okay. Mm. But the imagine. first and the second born I'm sure were aware of what was going on. Yeah, they, they knew that their dad was in hospital, yeah. but so what? Okay. The other road too. Hey. It was tough. Now when I went back to the church, <sighs> it was still something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like everybody is looking at me like that. Let us see what she's going to do. Some people are saying, ah, si anasemanga na ongeresho wa naro mtakatifa. Mm-hmm. Kwa ni ya kuambio bonaki ya naenda? Mm-hmm. Ngedu. Mm-hmm. You know, see, there are some, some things that are, they, are, they are not in your control. Mm -hmm. What can you do? Mm -hmm. But then I just encourage myself in the Lord. I was brief. I continued. You continued. You're not spoke to me. Told me you never lack anything. Amen. Encourage yourself. Amen. I believe in him. He yeah. told me you never lack anything. Mm. He told me come out. There are things he could not give you. I'm going to give you Amen. what you need in this Amen. life. Just some be faithful. Amen. And the Lord has been faithful. Amen. I'm very faithful. No. My children in school, the last yeah. one now is in form one. Wow. Yeah. The, the second one graduated last year. Uh -huh. We are doing well. Now, back to that season mm. with your children. Mm. How did you minister to your children? Because I can imagine yourself, mm. you're going through it yourself, mm. but you also have kids. Yes. And they are looking up to you yeah. for direction, like what, mm. what is trying to process what is happening. Mm. How did you minister to them? Oh, you see, now you have, I had to take them to a journey, tell them when you're born, there is the day that you're born, there's mm -hmm. the day that you're going to leave this world. Uh, you don't have to go with anyone. You live at your own time. Mm -hmm. But then, then let me just say prayers. Yeah. Prayers really helped mm -hmm. us. From us, from the church, from the family. And then the family, they were very supportive. The okay. in-laws. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. The in-laws were supportive. Yeah, very supportive. Okay. Mm. Now, because I know how church sometimes can get, mm. uh, did you lose members? Uh, we weren't many. Okay. We had just started. Uh -huh. I don't think uh, there's none of the members who left because of that reason. All right. No. And was there any situation where you felt I'm being treated in this way mm. because I'm a widow and because my husband has left? Yeah, yeah. Well, those times that you feel like that, uh -huh. people are suspicious. Uh, there are places used to go with my late husband uh, to family, friends, house, uh, something like that. And uh, now, in fact, there is a time one of my friends told his wife, yeah. Now you can't just be moving to Virginia everywhere. Wow. Yeah. So now she's single. Yeah? Mm. She can just go anywhere, mm. anytime. But you, you must know that you're married. Yeah. So there are those men who feel like... Uh, you may be a bad influence. Yeah. In fact, I was telling my sister, when you're a window, you are just single. Yeah. You, know, you are just single. You are. You'll be treated as a single. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you cannot go and bring yourself to everybody. Yeah. There are some people who come to church and the fact that you are there, you don't have a husband there, they, they feel, no. This is not the right place to be. Yeah. It's a challenge. <laughs> and so challenge. how have you been able to overcome these challenges or to keep your faith up, uh, especially from that time till now, mm. to still serve the Lord? Mm. Yeah. Uh, his promises. Amen. Yeah. Some strength for sick. His promises. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I just believe in him. Mm -hmm. God is holy. Mm -hmm. And he's yeah. faithful. Mm -hmm. I just believe in him. Mm -hmm. I don't fear anything. Mm -hmm. I can face any challenge you now. I'm very strong. So I'm good to go. Yeah. Mm. And then the fact that you are, you know that you are called by God into yeah. ministry mm. and into even serving him in the capacity of having a church. Mm. Uh, has that played a role in keeping you strong and firm and being able to continue? Because you can remember, no, I have an assignment yeah. and there's something I'm doing for God. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, just knowing that uh, I'm a 
accountable to God. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I know that he does not joke. So what I can can't. you tell someone who's who's lost their husband, mm. especially women in ministry, mm -hmm. um, someone who's lost their husband and they don't know where else to go, what else to do? Mm. I just, I would advise them just to believe in God, to trust in God, to be focused, mm -hmm. not to lose focus, mm -hmm. yeah? They, they should know that we have an assignment mm -hmm. and we must uh, do our assignment mm -hmm. and do them well. And God is faithful. When he said that he is the husband to the widows, indeed he is. Mm -hmm. He said the father to the, to the, to the orphans is mm -hmm. a good father. Amen. So they should just encourage themselves and do the work of God. Amen. Yeah. All right, mm. now let's just move on to something else. Right. Uh, it's very, I, I don't want to say rare, mm. but it's not a, a, an immediate sight to mm. see a woman being the lead pastor mm -hmm. of a church. Mm -hmm. Even when your husband was alive, you were still the one who planted the church. Mm. Now, I'm, I'm sure you have heard this very many times, yeah. that uh, the Bible says women should be quiet yeah. in church. Yeah. And uh, as a woman, mm. how, what are some of the challenges you've faced mm. being the lead pastor of your church? There are those, yeah, okay. There are those, those ladies who come to church and ask them why don't your husband come to church? Why don't they attend church? Like last year, there's a lady told me, my husband said, no, no, to a, to a woman wow. leader, yeah. to a woman mm -hmm. minister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they should know that when the Bible was written like that by Paul, that was the, their culture. Mm -hmm. The women were not supposed to speak. Mm -hmm. But me, I have to speak. Mm -hmm. I have the calling. Mm -hmm. And I know there are there, even the Bible. Mm. We used to minister who are very strong. Yeah. Give us some examples of women who were strong they in the, the word. Uh, the, the, the Akina, the Anna. Yes. Uh, we stayed in the church for all the years there. Mm -hmm. they, they were intercessors. Mm -hmm. We got the Deborahs. We call her Knamuri Magdalena, the Susana. There are so many. Mm -hmm. Women are there. And they did a great job. Amen. So I'm one of them. Yeah, you're one mm, of them. I'm one of them. Because <laughs> mm. when God called me, yeah. there is this man there, but God did not choose him. I'm chosen of God. Amen. So that one cannot make me feel like I'm any less or, or there's a challenge. Mm -hmm. I lead people, I lead the church, I lead other ministers. I am a reverend. Mm -hmm. There are pastors uh, who work under me, mm -hmm. and I'm working. Okay. Including men who work In under fact, you. Yeah. They are more than the ladies. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's quite an interesting sight. Yes. Mm. <laughs> because I, I've, I've personally heard very many people. Me, I'm not a pastor. I'm just a singer. Okay. Not just a singer, mm. but I'm a, I'm a, yeah, a minister. minister. But yes. even with that, there are mm. people who come and say, oh, you should not be on the altar. Mm. Oh, you should not be doing this. But it is what you offer. Yeah. They'll come. They listen to me. I have the word of God. Mm. I have the... the uh, the spirit of, of God. Of God. Yeah. Uh, I'm used of God. Mm. So you'll come to me, you try to test me. Before you test me, I'll tell you that you want to test me. Uh, so whatever is inside me will speak for itself. Mm. Mm. And you I know, don't have to explain to myself. I'm just remembering of two examples in the Bible mm. of women. Mm. Uh, the first, the woman at the well, mm. after mm. she was born, she encountered Christ. Yeah. She was the one who went to evangelize yes. in her city mm. and brought everyone to mm. see this Jesus. Mm. And also when Jesus rose up from the dead, mm. who did Mary, he meet? Magdalene. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And there were men there, mm -hmm. but they could not do that job. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what would you say to a woman who's feeling, yes, I've, I have a call of God over my life, mm. but sister, there's all these voices around me and I don't know what to tell them. Should I have anything to prove to them? Mm. What would you say to such a woman? I'll tell them just with the gifts that the Lord has given mm -hmm. you. There is that deposit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The Lord has deposited yeah. you. That is what you're supposed to use. Don't look yourself like a woman, mm -hmm. but a servant of God. As a servant, of, a servant God. of God. Yeah. Yeah. And God is going to use them to do exploits. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't even think you've told us what the name of your church is. Christian Worship International Ministry. Christian Worship International Ministry. Yes, yes. Uh, you, at first you were in, um, I've forgotten that name, Lo Industry, yeah, Industry Lunga, Lunga, Lunga yeah. and now you are? In Kayole. Kayole. But we are looking for a place. Okay. We've not yet bought a land. Mm -hmm. We are still doing some contribution here and there to see whether we can get ourselves a land because we have all the materials. Mm -hmm. The materials are there. They are still somewhere very safe. But now the land 
That is your year. Yeah. Mm. So we pray that God will settle you. Amen. 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 And that he will guide you into his purpose and his plan for your ministry. Amen. But you know, like even that story mm. of being demolished, like mm. church being demolished, mm. it is part of your story. Yes. And mm. God will use that even to minister to other people men and women of God mm -hmm. in such a position. Mm -hmm. All right. So maybe you Even can... I told God yes. yeah, when the church was demolished, I told God, hey, we had a man who made a yes. covenant. The so car. Me, Did car. The car. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't give me the Amen. car. He told me now my car. <laughs> it's Please. mine. <laughs> it's mine. Your church, you just stood there. It was brought down. <laughs> Please, my car. <laughs> <laughs> he's very faithful. I know he cannot take it away from me. Yeah. He's faithful. Amen. So where yes. can people reach you if they want to reach you for uh, ministry? They can reach me through my cell number mm -hmm. 0724 727 735. Maybe Facebook. say it again. Okay. 0724 mm -hmm. 727 mm -hmm. 735. All right. And Facebook? Facebook. Uh, Kamamunyo. Munyo. Munyo. All right, yes. sour, sour. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and put those on your screen for you. Okay. If you'd like to reach her for ministry, for mm -hmm. questions, or any other discussions, please go ahead, reach out to her on those with the numbers on your screen. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can just go ahead and give us your parting shots. Speak to any woman who's watching, whatever is on your heart to say okay. to them. Okay. If you are fair and grief, maybe you've just lost a husband, or you are alone, you are single, because to me, being a widow and being single is more like the same. Others, why is you that you encourage yourself and then do the work of God? Uh, the labor in the Lord is not in vain. God is going to reward you. Mm. May God bless you so much. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for coming and for being a blessing to us. Thank you very much. Yes, we, we wish you the best and we pray that God will continue to use you. Amen. Amen. I was very happy, very yes. much humbled. Thank you. Thank you. Me. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for staying tuned. I'm sure that this has been a blessing to you. If you're watching and you're going through a similar situation, if you're a widow or you are going through a hard situation, don't give up. Remember what God has called you to do. Remember his promises to you. He is faithful to complete that which he started in your life. I'll see you same time, same place. Have a great rest of your week. Bye. Just move.